I am from the Philippines. I am from Phoenix. Together, Together we're Phil's to Phoenix. Phoenix. Two countries. One heart. Welcome, Welcome to, to our, our weekly Chica Chica. Chica. If you're new to our channel, please keep watching and please like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that little bell icon so that when we do post new episodes, you'll get notified. Yep. But what's been going on? <laughs> Mama and Papa are back in Sibunga after her almost a month in Cagayan de Oro. Yeah, they kind of got trapped in Cagayan for a little bit. Uh, that they had to go through quarantine and all that fun stuff before they could go to Mabalai and... Uh, the with things that happened there that they decided to come back. Yeah, it's not worth it to go there. Yeah, yeah. And they they came back. That they, they got back safely. Yeah. Uh, Mama way, got sick. I get a cough. Again? Okay, it's been a month now. Oh, got it. I I knew that she'd gotten a little bit sick over there, but it really wasn't fever or not, anything like that. Yeah. But it, it's just the weather and change of. Yeah, because it's, I guess it's becoming Philippine summer now? Yeah, March officially. Summer, welcome to summer in the Philippines. <laughs> so March, April, May are summers. Are summer here. Yes. And May is typically your, your warmest month. Actually, April. April, May? Yeah, April, May. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I didn't really, it's been like six years or seven years. I didn't really, you know. Oh, we came back that one year in May. But you were able to endure it, so. Yeah, and we spent two weeks at your parents' house with no AC and... Yeah, nothing. Just so a breeze. I, again, I, I will make the, 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 the point that the humid weather like this, because the temperatures typically aren't so intense, 80s, 90s, a little bit of breeze and it's comfortable. And you can get by with a fan, but yeah, it does sometimes get sticky. And you almost always got ocean breezes or mountain breezes, so it's it's more than tolerable to me for me for my purposes. Yeah. So what's new? What's new with us? Oh, we have good. We have one. My brother, Jujo, youngest brother, is in Manila. Oh yeah, he's in Manila. He's coming back. Uh, he's going through five days of quarantine in Silang Cavite, so that's one hour from Manila, so. Oh, you had to go all the way down there? Yeah, all of the team went to um, to that place, and all their luggages are uh, checked by Chinese, so instead their luggage needs to be with the, the craft, so the Chinese um, <laughs> told them, hey, you need to left your luggage here, and it will be followed because <laughs> It's so funny because the ship was sold to Chinese and so some of the stuff, you know, Filipino, we like keeping things like if it's not used, they, so most of the tools and equipment, they, some Filipinos, they ask permission and they bring it mm -hmm. and put in their luggage and the Chinese want to check all of their luggages and what's inside and their luggages will be shipped and then it needs to be sent to their offices and so now good thing they have hand carry because <laughs> if they don't have hand carry <laughs> so they need to go through those things and yeah so yeah that's uh, that uh but yeah he'll be coming here probably next week yeah next week mm, monday tuesday i'm not sure but yeah and his luggage may follow a week or two later. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know about that, but we'll see. That's the it. that's the interesting part. What else? Um The yeah, we didn't post much last week. We did do the, the one live stream from downtown. Yeah. And the internet was kinda sketchy. I think there were people still watching at the end, but I'm not sure. Yeah. Uh we're gonna try it again the next times we're down there, that if we're down there during one of the regular scheduled live streams, we'll try it again. In that time, you know, in the future, that, that I'm just going to say to Ag, if I can't see it, I'm still going to continue the live stream, assuming that it is yeah. up and running. But And like I said, I've got both Smart and Globe on that, so that whichever one happens to be a little bit better signal, yeah, I, I can give that one a try. And I just need to make sure I've got data fresh for both, for both plans. But 
it, it'll be interesting, but internet what was was horrible down there. Yeah. We, we've got a PLDT fiber connection at the house. I might need to check to the provider on what's going on because in the morning it dropped to 1.26. In the evening it's 3 and then suddenly like there's our minutes, 15 minutes that go back to 10 and then drop again to 1. So I, I just need to stay there and do a screenshot and hey this is what been happening so you know. Yeah and that they posted a while ago that there was a connection somewhere up in Karkar yeah. that was broken and so all of Sabunga had, had a horrible internet on, PLD, on the, the, the provider we got and yeah it, it's just the challenges of living in the provinces which is a big reason why we came to Cebu for for your work yeah because I need fast internet right now our internet is kind of sketchy but we'll see about that in a few minutes and yeah the last day or so it's been a little bit sketchy here but not terribly bad and it and it does when it kicks back in it's got a good signal strength yeah and so I'm not sure if we just need to reset the due to Philip the thing the router <laughs> the router's over there yeah I, I'm not sure if we just need to reset the router because we haven't done that in two months since we've been here but well, the last time we have issues, we need to pay our internet, the internet, because we never get paid. Well, yeah, that the internet went out for a little bit, and went out for we, we, got that, we got that fixed, and, yeah. and I don't know if that would count as a reboot or not, because the... Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, what else? Oh, yeah, sunshine. Sunshine, get... That we went down to Sabunga for a, couple, for a few days, taking Mama Papa down there, and we stayed and, and did some stuff, and one of the things that we did was we took Sunshine to a mechanic. Yeah. The original intent was just to go through and just get a bumper, a, a bumper to bumper checkup and get new bumpers put on it. Yeah. That I stumbled across a guy on one of the uh, Facebook groups uh, for the, the multi-cabs. And, and lo and behold, it wound up being a mechanic that we've seen and a friend of uh, Dong's. And so he started going through and doing the checkup. And whether we got a, a poor quality one built from the place where we bought it or, or just got a lemon, I don't know. But they had a pretty decent reputation. Yeah. But there was enough minor things wrong with it that, that we just, nah, we're not taking it back there. And so... We, we found this mechanic and he agreed that we agreed to a price and we'll give you more updates on that as it goes along and hopefully do a, uh, an end all review of it with him. Yeah. And, you know, just see where it goes. But we've got scheduled for an interior upgrade and transmission. We're doing some uh, repair work and getting some things done that the CV boots on both sides and the front were bad. And, uh, so he's replacing all four of those. He's doing spark plugs. He's doing the front differential oil seal was bad. He's doing a lot of uh, maintenance type stuff to it that should have been done at the build. But... So, yeah, that, that's where we're at with that one. And as it goes on, we'll start posting more about that. Yeah. And the next update is my schedule hours changing. <laughs> I decided to, um... <laughs> yeah, after six weeks of seven days a week, 10, 12 hours a day. Yeah, I work, like, uh, seven weeks of, like, seven stuff, <laughs> under my like, you know, every day, so, no, it, it's not healthy, so I told my boss that I'll just work Monday to Friday, if I need to take off Friday, I just need to tell her in advance, if I need to take off one week, two weeks, three weeks, or one month, I'll just need to tell her. And so this contract is ongoing until I want, if I don't want it, yeah. <laughs> but right now, um, I'm just telling you here that I'll just do one at a time because I thought someone will f pick up my job when I left, when I was on uh, one week. Yeah, you took a week off. Yeah, I, I thought someone would pick up my, my, my job, but I guess no one 
fit. So now I'm like working a lot and just giving me a lot of tasks. And I said, I need to finish this first because this is what happened when mistakes happen when I I accept a lot of your tasks. I'm writing up, I forget, even though I write it down. And I was thinking of this and I was thinking another one and then minor errors. You know, and then I don't want to do that. I just want to finish this task and move on to next time. Because she will just tell this one is urgent, and I know everything is urgent, <laughs> but I cannot do it. I some days I cannot sleep, but I just want to have a balanced life work because I've been there. I've been in the situation, and some days I just don't want to go. I just don't want to log into my computer. I like to shut down my laptop. Even I work from home. I'm so blessed that I work from home and I could work under US economy, but some days I just don't want to log in. <laughs> some days there's the same problems why you left the US to creep know. into this situation. I know, so yeah. And some days are like, I could find another job, but it's always the same. There's no easy job. It's always. Um, yeah, work is kind of a four letter word. Yeah. <laughs> and it is an S. It's a stress to, yeah. but it, it, don't get me wrong. I see things in a very positive uh, aspect, you know, like it's normal. It's just normal because I got crazy if I don't work too. So, <laughs> so I need to balance it because if I don't work, I feel like sometimes it's your value, like my value, what's my value, you know, you got used to working. So you need to find your value and that's, for me, that's my value. But I need to balance, balance. <laughs> okay, that's my story, I'm talking so much. Right? <laughs> but that's just it, you, you, you enjoy doing this and, and you actually do enjoy doing what you're doing. I do, and some days if I'm like really stressed out or worn out, then I'll stop and just lay down and go somewhere. So. And, and that's, you know, by having that discussion with her, I think it'll, it'll ease up enough and she more than realizes that you get, you know, that she's got a, a definite gold nugget in, in, in this situation because she's getting work at a, at a level that would be horribly expensive for her in the U.S. Yeah. And you're more than happy with the wages that are being, you know, that she's paying at this point. And effectively, they're kind of like the high dollar U.S. wages here in the Philippines. Yep. So, I'll not complain because I've worked in my previous company for five, almost five years, and I have a higher rate. Well, but that's just it. You're getting, you're you're doing MBA level work. Yeah. But basically, getting paid bookkeeper wages for the U.S. Yeah. Well, we'll not talk about the and wages. That's so confidential, sir. So. Oh. But, but here, it, it is good wages. It does. So, but we also got something else to help you along this lines. I got a chair and the table that I got inside it, so. <laughs> uh, yeah, because Cindy was, you, you saw in some of the older ones, that Cindy was working off a little coffee table and a... Uh, couch. Uh, a couch. And, and that's not a work and she did six weeks worth of work there so yeah I have back issues because I gained so much weight and now my main goal I don't know it's my always main goal is losing weight but sorry it, it's working in progress I guess <laughs> and, and it, it that, that's going to be an ongoing challenge is you know, well you lose to. weight my papa said Ate you are like John no so you're like, <laughs> <laughs> it's so like Oh, my papa can I, he's always been a front in everything so Filipinos literally like that if you if they see you as stumble or fat or gaining they will tell you literally in your face <laughs> that's what my papa said so Ate, you're like bigger than John <laughs> so I was like oh, I feel like it's embarrassing I want to pinch papa I say anything. so yeah so <laughs> yeah, it's. I don't know, but um, I might need to change. I don't know, but I'll, I'll think about that. Well, I don't I'll do yoga, fifteen minutes, thirty minutes, but 
it's not the same before because in, in Phoenix, I got company or people to wake me up. Oh, let's go walk. So for an hour in here, I need to change it because with my work and I get lazy and there's just a lot. In Cebonga, I could run and go to the beach and run. But on the way back, you saw some place near, right nearby here. Mm-mm. They were talking about jogging. I might need to do that in the evening. That's a good idea, no? Or in the morning, 5 o'clock, 5.30. I might need to adjust my schedule to 7.30 work. So 5.30 to 6.30 I can run. And then I have one hour run. There you go. And then let's do that, okay? Tomorrow morning we'll do that. We'll run down the sunshine and drive up to the area. Because it's close. It's close enough that we can walk there. But just time constraints, I think it would be a little better to... One thing too, as you could see our post in our Fields to Fitness Facebook page, we love to eat, so. <laughs> yes, we do. And they've got some amazing food here. And I'll blame this one. I'm becoming like him. <laughs> well, yeah. we're becoming to each other. Like, John is becoming more me and me and become more John. You know what I mean? We just got to figure out how to meet in the middle of this one. I know, so, yeah. Take the good traits from each other and not That's the bad like traits. That's six years of being married, you know? So you tend to get others' attitude. I'm more grumpy than him. He's grumpy yeah, she, before. she's actually exceed, managed to exceed me in that one. <laughs> I do. My anger issues is the highest level. But what's what is funny that? is you've taught my anger issues to come down to the lowest level now. <laughs> Now we got to figure out how to balance this and meet in the middle. I try to control it, sir, right? Oh, and you're not. doing way better at that. Some, some days are uncontrollable. Even my <laughs> parents will like, shh, don't at the so. <laughs> Don't rattle the cage. <laughs> I'm the tiger in the family. They all listen and respect to me, so that's for sure. That's, uh, well, I'm the only girl. <laughs> that's one thing. <laughs> You, you do get that benefit. I do. I have a lot of benefits. <coughs> I got spoiled. Yes, you did. In, in many ways. I'm a, I have a leadership skills that, <laughs> in my own way. Okay, that's so much. <laughs> so this chica chica is also share, sharing you our experiences, our learning, being a fill up couple, the diversity, culture here it, it in just, the Philippines, and dealing with my family our family and other people it's what can you say you're getting used to it right we 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 try to share as much as we can yeah we, we do hold back some but like there are were, times that i will say no we'll not go far with that like salary or something that's too personal the issues that happen in my life. Yeah, well, the, the, it's just some family issues, and and that's where we leave it at. We try to move on. Maybe there's still um, healing process for me and my parents. My father, he's already move on. He um he has some outlets that he could do, but Mama and me, I mean, I'm trying to like acknowledge that the emotions are still there, and I'll tell Mama it's okay, Mama that. You get upset, you get frustrated. Don't suppress it because it's hard. Because I will tell mama, don't feel or don't think. No, I will just tell her because for the longest time, when my mama has a nervous breakdown, emotional, mm -hmm. I didn't understand before when I was 18 years old. Later on in my life, after graduate, I will tell my mama, just let it out. Acknowledge your emotions. That's normal. And it helped over oh, the you. year. It helped me personally, and it helped her. It's big help to her because before I will just tell Mama, don't say it. it's a complete shutdown. And then right now I'm just tell like you help me too. Like right now I will. That help. was a big thing when you and I first got together. No, I will it's... tell her it's normal. Just acknowledge the emotions. You know, like it would be a process. It's not automatically that boom. It's med no. There's no magic in emotions, especially women. You know. It would take time. It would take healing process, you know. But that's it. <laughs> it's too much. It's like 21 minutes. <laughs> that's uh. But until you started opening up and letting a lot of that out. Yeah. That it didn't start that process. I didn't really know before 
about like when something bothers me, I just keep it to myself. And then along the way, either you will say, "Your brother, you tell me honestly," and it hurtful, rather than keeping it to myself. And right now, I'm like more transparent, and sometimes it's not good for my family because I just like, Shh. <laughs> and sometimes I need to filter it. Again, we need to find that middle ground. <laughs> yeah, it's it, that, uh... it's bad. Like yeah. With my youngest a middle brother, me and my middle brother, we have the same attitude. And when yeah. we fight or argue, it's like, boom, we clash. Don, Don, can, Don can definitely let let you know how he's feeling. I know, and it's the same with me. And then we started, shh, and mama would just, you need to respect. She's older than you. You need to say sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so I got privileges because in the Philippines, my parents, we were thought that we need to respect her elder brother and sister and oh. even if it's my mistake I need to say so uh, my younger brother needs to say, but I said apologize I, I say my sorry too that's family it's normal uh, arguments love caring quarrel fighting whatever but that's even, normal even, even when you and Don butt heads and clash in a day or two you guys calm down and, and yeah. get back to normal he's one of my go-to person that I could yeah, rely he's probably most. one of your strongest supporters and in, in, in my entire like growing up he's always there like don't I need this like that's why like I don't mind like growing old like just staying beside to them like so I could call him I can't remember here recently when you had a uh, confrontation with another elderly family member yeah the dong later admitted that he was kind of standing in the background to make sure nothing happened yeah but let you deal with it yeah and i i, I thought that was kind of funny I know. <laughs> that was really, he's getting ready just to make sure if my you know as long as it stayed verbal everything was cool but if it started to get physical he was going to be there <laughs> yeah that's true that's my problem. and that that's that, that's kind of who he is and what he does yeah is he, he guides things along and Right now that uh, when we went and helped uh, uh, your aunt with the house, yeah, that he made some connection, more, deeper connections up deeper in the mountains. mountains, and he's going up there and he's helping a lot in those communities. So he, f sorry guys, it would be a long <laughs> chica chica. It's like a family story. So he helped my cousin. So they planted like seven thousand of bell pepper. Bell pepper, we call it a child, and now he's also helping another um, friend a uh, lot of one hectare for another set of bell peppers. So that would be another three thousand. And after that, when he um, get the capital, the good thing for the bell peppers is it could last up to a year. Cucumber, eggplant, another it would only do three months. It's a ways of like you need to plant and grow three months and then harvest and plant again the bell peppers is in three months you could harvest and then they grow again you could harvest so you okay. could harvest four times and you could gain profit it's a lot of work in the in the process but you could harvest it four times and which is really good in a year rather than planting again and you just need to cultivate it, you know properly. keep it going keep it going. yeah so but, uh, that's where we need we need to do go there and video <laughs> what well, we do we need to to go down there and do a good video of that yeah but, uh, i'll tell my brother when it's getting you know see the process you know the how they we may have to do that as uh and that one i, I that video i can see being a couple months in the making because uh yeah trying to get the uh, uh footage we need yeah we may do that uh kind of look out for that one here probably april may yeah but yeah, we, we've had a lot of stuff going on. The bottom line, uh, Sunshine's getting uh, repaired and upgraded. Yes. And we, Mom, Mama and Papa are back. Uh, we're probably going to be doing a lot more upgrades to the house the in Sagunga. Yeah. Uh, Jill is back. In the, one thing, the one thing we are going to do, Papa, and I already talked about this one. And <laughs> Mom, Mom, Mama's re Mom, Cindy's handling Mama's help and repair. <laughs> and like she said about Papa, he he, he kind of moves on, and, and one of the ways he moves on is is building, and he enjoys doing that. He does. And so Papa and I are going to build a uh, cow cage. Uh, <laughs> I think it's 
say that. No, sorry. A mini aviary for uh, cow cow. I said cow cow cage. Um, <laughs> Dong's got some uh, parakeets and some doves that he raises. Yeah. And so we're going to kind of take over the area that they're doing those in as well as cow cow and build a, a small aviary for all of them. Yes. And then we need to cement and kind of... And so him and I, uh, Papa and I are, are that, that's kind of our current big project. We do have some big projects along the way. And that we're just going to tackle them one at a time. And, and that, that's how Papa and we I are going to We didn't even have also the chance to share our costs of living, hopefully. Yeah, that last week kind of got thrown for a curve with Mama and Papa coming back the way they did. We're trying to like settle our lives because we didn't really know two weeks before that we will stay here in Cebu until now we decided like I didn't really know that I will continue this job permanently until like my boss wants it and I will like continue continue until I want it because I have a lot of offers from other company and this one is um, for me it's really good offer because with a work schedule I could work anytime as long as it's daytime my time I could tell you know and uh -oh. it's hard again to build it's for me it's easy to build relationship you know yes it is it's just hard to start again and train again and you know that's one thing yeah I don't mind you know if but well and it costs companies money to, to train people right? yeah and and it's close to my heart because we're helping nonprofit organization oh. and so I just want to stay here because I I think or now I know God is a reason why I was with this company you know oh. was working or are working present tense was or whatever working in this company so yeah so I'm excited I got new chair got new table I got a little mini office there set up and my laptop is is it five years now we bought it 2016. it's five turning five years this may yeah turning, turning five, no turning six years this may yeah 2006 it's 2000 uh, 2021 2016 so five years but well, we got yours a year before you got mine yeah i got mine when i was studying my master's Remember? So my well, love. We'll have to go back to it, but yeah, it's it's five years. It's five plus years old, and it's still working, really. Um, uh, we may look at upgrading it. Uh, we may look at upgrading mine and, and moving mine to yours. Yeah, and it, I'll there, need two monitors. So there, there's see. a there's a couple different things that we may be looking at doing here in the future, but a, a lot of that is, is just that it's in the future. That there, we we've got some things that we know we want to do we've got some things that we kind of like to do kind of things. and we've got some things that are kind of real lightly penciled in <laughs> yeah. so right now um we're doing one thing at a time because we need to get one our driver license yes now that we're st staying here we did open up the bank account yep uh i am gonna try to to sit down this week with with you and go through the operations and the processes that we had to do. Yeah. Wasn't terribly hard, a little bit confusing, but it, 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 it happened. Yeah. But yes, we need to get driver's license here in the next week or two. We need to look at uh, getting your social security dealt yeah, with. That one is like interesting. So I don't know. It's frustrating, but I guess I need to deal with it. <laughs> and, and we'll try to make, well, we won't try. We will make different videos on the, the processes that we're going through and, and what happened and, and how to do these as best as we can. Yeah. So yeah, those are the things. We have different season of life. Right now we're enjoying our Western season of life, <laughs> the lifestyle here in Cebu City. So but keep that's kind watching of on our Chica Chica. On. Yeah, yeah, definitely keep watching on this. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that little bell thing so that you can get notified. But that's basically it for a really long Chica Chica that we haven't had in a while. Yeah, because last week was just short. Man. Yeah. So, but, th thank you and <laughs> Mabuhai! Ma